All right. Well, they, okay. So, um, let's see. Needs for a gig economy business. So, you know, <clears throat> great question, you know. So, these folks are starting their own business, right? We talked last that's week. That's great, by the way. It's awesome. And I... and. I see this as the future. I really do. As as folks who have these ideas, they have these concepts that they want to put forth, these dreams, if you will, these North Stars, these goals that they want to achieve. I want to work on my own. I want to work for myself. Uh, but they're creating businesses. Last week, we talked about um, not-for-profit corporations, right? A 501c3. What does it take to have a not-for-profit company? This is for profit. These folks are going into business to make money, to uh, pay their rent, pay their mortgage, uh, build their retirement, build their wealth, take care of their family, pay for college tuitions, what have you. But they're going into business to make a profit. So what do they need to do? Well, they need to take care of the legal aspects of it, right? So I wanted to share a few tidbits of best practices of what to do if you're starting out uh, your own new business and and it, it's at a state federal and local level you would want to check all of the boxes you don't want to wing it you never want to wing something like this mm -hmm. I love the the the, the uh, energy and the environments around entrepreneurs the there's blue skies and the sky's the limit there is no box right it's not outside the box this is a wonderful dreaming type of thinking but you have to implement and you have to follow certain rules so for one you know, you got to figure out your local rules, right? So with respect to Image Studios, right, these people are licensed, right? But does the zoning allow them to do what they want to do in that certain location? Is it a business zoned location? So you want to find out through your building inspector first, am I allowed to do what I want to do where I want to do it? So that's your, that's your local, but then you have your state, right? So if you are a licensed barber, mm -hmm. the state has an overseeing body, right? So you have to have your proper licensing in place and you have to have that uh, approved by the state and the location approved by the state. And a lot of times we encourage people and, you know, I, we understand and empathize with the fact that someone starting their own business is, you know, working on a limited budget typically. Typically yes. they're not fully funded with venture capital funding and, you know, uh, shares in the open market, right? They're, they're, they're putting together their life savings to make this happen, so they're mm -hmm. looking to save money where they can. Yeah. But we encourage them to incorporate, whether it's a limited liability company or an S corporation. Again, this is something you want to talk with your legal team and your tax team. And again, these are not things that you want to sidestep, right? There are expenses associated with it, nominal, to get you started, but it's it's that being proactive we talk about so often, Rob, to be proactive, to limit your liability, set up a corporate structure, have those tax um, those tax benefits associated with having having a corporate structure. And then, of course, on the federal level, you're going to want to get a tax identification number, right? Because you're not going to run the business through your Social Security number. You're going to have a separate and distinct tax identification number. And that allows you to get the banking a world to pay attention to you, to see you as viable and real, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got a tax identification number, you've got a limited liability company, and you've got your proper licensing, and the banks will love you. So you open your bank accounts with them, and you're up and operating, right? But then there's other things to think about, right? There's the lease review, if that's what you're doing, if you're not working completely virtually, which a lot of folks are doing virtually, and we're seeing a lot of really cool concepts that don't even require an office or a real estate uh, purchase or or lease or or for that matter sublease <clears throat> and they could do these things remotely and but if you have the leases make sure that those are read thoroughly uh, by an attorney so that you don't miss a blind spot right because those are the things that cause a lot of anxiety you know a year into it and you didn't realize this that the other thing you didn't realize these costs were associated or or you were responsible for those so we encourage people to get those reviewed and understand that but on the positive side of it <clears throat> you want to do a lot of research on um, grants right mm -hmm. now the government the state locals they're giving grants to small businesses women-owned businesses minority-owned businesses these are um, things that you can easily get on the Google machine and figure out you know do I um, am I eligible for some 
funding, some grants. You know, we're talking about venture capital, that's maybe not available, but maybe there are some SBA grants, right? Certainly SBA loans, the Small Business Association, the federal government wants people to get out there and create more jobs because the idea is if you start a business, you're probably going to create more jobs as well. And and we encourage those entrepreneurs out there, those dreamers, to, to take that leap, take that step. And if they have any questions, we can certainly assist. But what we always like to say is call us first, right? Mm -hmm. Because if it's not something that we do on a regular basis, we can certainly save you a lot of time and energy by placing you with the appropriate people. Hmm. All right, well, that's yeah. important. That is important because you're right. Uh, when you're starting a, your own business, there's just, I can't imagine all the different things you have to go through and to make it work. But, you know, it, it's a lot, but it's not. So, so yeah. I want to caution folks, like, it's not overwhelming. It feels like it may be, but it's really, if you're someone who's a checklist person like myself, mm -hmm. you know, you're checking four boxes, one at a time. Take it one at a time and do it, you know? The best advice... I've ever received on new business ventures. Yeah. Just start. Just start. <laughs> you know, you can always modify. Maybe the dream doesn't um, go exactly as you thought, but there's a new iteration to that dream, and you go in that path, and you go like a leaf in the wind. You know, you follow where that goes, and all of a sudden it becomes something different than you had originally dreamed, but. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, nonetheless. So, you know, we encourage those folks who have been kicking it around. I want to leave my job. I want to do this. I have a dream. I know it's going to work. You know, to, to give it real thought, put it down, put a business plan together. But be proactive. Do the things that are necessary to protect you and your family. Hmm. All right. Important stuff. Again, uh, talk to uh, Mark Stiles and his great team. Stiles Law is located on Route 139 in Marshfield. And you can find out more online, styles-law.com, styles-law.com. And, of course, the best way, pick up the telephone and get in touch. Right, Mark? That's right. You can reach us at 781-319-1900. Again, 781-319-1900. I want to remind people as they're finishing up their taxes, good weekend to, to do that. I know they're due very soon. Um, but remember that you're cleaning out. We have Shred Show coming up. Oh, wow. That's right. Shred Show. What do I do with all that stuff? May 6th, May 6th, the first Saturday of May every year outside our offices. We're mm -hmm. bringing them in. Shredded is coming, and you can watch those private documents get shredded on May 6th from 11 to 2, right outside our offices on State Road 139. Yeah, don't just uh, stick all those uh, documents in the uh, trash barrel, right? No. Leave it outside the house. No, don't no, do that. No, don't do that. Do not do that. Go to Shred Show. Shred Take care Show. Of it. Shred Show. All right, well, Mark Stiles is with us every Friday, Feel Good Friday on WATD, styles-law.com. And, Mark, have a uh, wonderful uh, holiday, Passover, Easter to everyone listening and you and your family. You too, Rob. Have an amazing week, everybody.